Hello YouTube, today I want to show you how to model a simple parametric coil in Ansoft Maxwell simulation software. After you learn how to do a simple coil in a how to design a simple coil in a parametric way, you can later on add more parameters um, to that and you can add more details and make a more accurate coil. Uh, the purpose of having a parametric parametric design is to be able to easily change the design and structure of the coil and make sure that you can fit it the best for your application. Um, the end result coil for uh, this tutorial is going to be something like this where you can change different parameters of the coil by, uh, by the parameters that you define basically uh, so for example I can change the, the width of this um, to for example uh, smaller width or you can basically uh, go and change the length of it uh, to a larger length uh, you can also change the, the, the trace size if you are trying to uh, implement the coil on a PCB for example uh, you can make the trace size smaller you can make the distance between the traces uh, more higher or or changes uh, in basically this nature so let's close this one and uh, this is the black, the, the new blank ends of Maxwell uh, 3D design. And uh, first thing you want to do is you want to click on your uh, project and add or insert a Maxwell 3D design into that. When you do that, you have a 3D canvas uh, in front of you. You can go ahead and click on the rotating tool and then click on the top area of the canvas. Double click on that and as a result you will have a view of an XY plane in that case it's easier for you to deal with uh, the dra drawing the, the coil so after you rotate the canvas in a way that you have X uh, on where the default X axis is and Y on where the default X uh, Y axis is and now we can start drawing our lines I'm gonna click on this draw line um, uh, tool here and I'm gonna start drawing the first line uh, the reason I'm drawing the line without putting any parameters in is because uh, I think it's better to start with a shape of the coil first and then you can add uh, parameters to each points or each segments of the coil in that case it's more visual for you and you can see it uh, in a better way so now let's uh, start from here and uh, go ahead and uh, start uh, the first segment of the coil I'm gonna go start here and um, <coughs> uh, click here to end the first segment and uh, start the new segment and then click here to end this segment uh, as I said it's very uh, rough uh, drawing of uh, of the coil and I want to have only two turns because more than that it will just take your time basically waste your time honestly so I'm gonna stop here click uh, the last segment and right click and press uh, click on done okay now I have a very rough uh, shape of the coil that I want to design. I'm going to press Ctrl and D to fit the design on my canvas and uh, I'm going to open up this one and probably again press Ctrl and D. So here the purple uh, structure that I just draw is called uh, polyline 1 and if you look at the under uh, uh, the structure you can see a create polyline that is uh, collapsed all the segments of this line and if I open that uh, you can see each segment when I click on it it becomes black so you can see each segments that make the entire design so the very first segment has an X and Y each create line has two basically main property the first point 
for the start point and the end point. Uh, each point has three main property, x value, y value, and z value. For this uh, drawing, I think that it's better to not change the uh, z value, and I'm going to work on x and y values, and I'm going to parameterize the, these two values. And so for this, uh, for the purpose of this uh, tutorial, I'm going to start calling, uh, the starting to call my first parameters, and it would be the distance between uh, the two terminals. And uh, I want to have, uh, uh, for example, 0.4 uh, millimeter distance between the two terminals. So what um, what's I'm going to do is, instead of having an uh, absolute number 0.2 here for the x value of the first point of this line, I'm going to call it pitch. When you call, when you define a variable for the very first time, and then you press enter, uh, Ansoft will ask you what is this variable type what is the type of this value and what kind of a unit you want to choose for it so I'm gonna go and say the type of this variable is a length and the unit that is suggesting here is millimeter which is fits my application but you can go ahead and change the unit to one that you are more uh, easy to work with so I'm gonna leave it like this in millimeters and I'm gonna say 0.2 is the value of this variable pitch now I'm going to go all the way up and look at this this can be our terminal the terminal of our simple coil that we just trying to design so as you can see here uh, the starting point uh, for the y of this uh, segment is minus 1.3 and it ends at minus 0.5 so it's basically 0.7 millimeters length so one thing that we can do is we can call um, basically we can we can call this a terminal uh, and give it a value for the terminal so in order to do that we say uh, start from 1.3 minus 1.3 at y and then go all the way up for a terminal size terminal so it, the, the y of the end point of this segment is going to be minus 1.3 plus terminal. Okay. So when you say that, because terminal is a new variable, when you hit enter, it will ask what is terminal. I'm going to say a terminal is a variable with a unit of length, with the type of length or nature of length. Um, I can find it yes and the unit would be here millimeters so I'm gonna say 0.7 so it will basically uh, fit on what I draw and when you do that you will see that huge problem is here and that is because most likely I put yes the problem here is when you say minus 1.3 it doesn't understand that this one is 1.3 is going to be millimeter I think this is 1 minus 1.3 meter and to fix this problem you just say put 2 in front of it and now when you hit enter it will understand uh, and correct it so it starts from minus 1.3 millimeters and it go all the way up to minus 1.3 plus terminal and the terminal one is 0.5 millimeter. That's our first line. Okay, the Z is going to be zero millimeter. That's okay. The second line, though, it's going to start from minus 1.3 millimeter plus ter terminal as a Y and the X of. Um, there's something wrong. I think. Oh, sorry. When you go to the first segment, the X is the same. So the X would be the same pitch because the pitch was 0.2 and you didn't see any changes here but you have to put pitch again so the X is the same 
but the y is going to be changed by change by terminal value. So now, so now we have the first segment totally para parameterized. Now I'm going to go to the se second segment, and in the second segment is going to be um, all the way to the right and creates the width half of the width of the coil. So I'm going to go and say I'm going to copy the characteristic of the uh, point 1 of the segment and put it on the point 2 of the segment and change the value of the x from pitch to width divided by 2. So that's going to constitute our coil with a width uh, of width size of width. So the variable name is width. So when I press enter, it says what is the width width value is going to be and what is width nature the width nature is length and it's going to be so in this case I think if I put uh, one millimeter it's going to be too small uh, maybe I go and change the value of this width to a larger number Yeah, because one millimeter divided by two is half a millimeter, as you can see here. Um, to to change the value right away, you go and click on this uh, the 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 project, and uh, over here you see the list of the uh, variables in the property section of the project. And here is the width. So I'm going to change the width uh, from one millimeter to uh, let's say four millimeter, so it's a bit larger, but that can be better. We can see uh, what's going on here. Okay, Control D to fit the uh, design in our canvas. I'm gonna go back to the line number two. Uh, everything else is set here. I'm gonna go to the sec the third line. So in the third line, I'm gonna copy the characteristic of the start point put it to the end point and what we expect is to have a line that the x value is not going to change but the but the y value is going to change so the y value that we choose here is uh, minus 1.3 millimeters plus terminal so what can I do is it's, it's simply I can say um, Uh, the y is going to be uh, go up all the way for one length. You can say just L, but I think if you say length is better. So when you press enter, it says what is length, and we say length is a variable with the nature of length, and it's in millimeter and let's say that the length is also four millimeter i'm going to press the canvas and then Control d to make it fit and then i'm going to go to the third line so now i know that this line is supposed to have the same y but the x is going to change so now the x instead of being plus width divided by 2 is going to be minus width divided by 2 because uh, in the x-axis the coil is going to be drawn symmetrically okay um, so we have minus width divided by 2 for the end point of this segment as then you can see here we have a kind of a symmetric uh, coil for the next segment you can go ahead and copy the first characteristic of the line the point and then copy it to the point 2 and here we know that the x value is going to be the same minus width divided by 2 but the y value is going to change and is not going to be uh, at the same so now the y value should go all the way minus length but if you say minus length you are basically let me open this so you can see what the value is right now the value right now is minus 1.3 plus millimeters plus terminal size 
plus length so it's going to be minus length so then it's going to be you can get rid of the length but then the problem is if you do that the end point is going to get to the same level as the first turn of the coil so that's not that's not good because then our wires or our traces will go on top of each other